20 years after the creation of UN Security Council Resolution 1325, the Nordic Africa Institute is organizing a symposium on women, peace and security from an African perspective. While considered a landmark initiative, the Resolution 1325 has also been criticized for being ineffective. The event, which is co-hosted by the Namibian Embassy in Sweden, brings together scholars, experts from the security sector and representatives from women's organizations to share experiences and knowledge. Of course we have reason to, to celebrate. Um, we have used the resolution 1325 to change our legal frameworks endorsed by at the highest level, whether UN Security Council, or at the highest level with our heads of state and government. So we now have a strong framework that can translate policies into actions on the field. I would say that the, this event, event that we are having here is actually an occasion to try and assess what have we actually achieved and and what should we try to aim for? Resolution 1325 has got a lot of silences in it. It is kind of painting a picture of women as a homogenized group, but it's not really thinking about silences in terms of race, ethnicities, and so on. Um, we're all aware that uh, the climate is uh, hardening, that it's becoming, uh, there's a shrinking space for women's rights advocates and women's rights in general, with big global powers that are very uh, counterproductive to women's rights. And therefore, I think it's even more important to recognize, uh, both historically, the process leading up to where we are today, and the achievements that we've accomplished. Participation of women in peace and security was at very low positions. But for now, after the 20 years resolution has been in place, we are seeing quite an, a greater number of um, women representation in uh, roles and positions that were a no-go area for women. Now, women are entering those areas. We think that knowledge institutions has a role to play. Independent research on how Resolution 1325 has been translated into practice and how these processes of global local translations are taking place and also on the decolonial turn are very important to understand and bring this agenda forward.